So what to do you guys it's your girl t chade and i am back with another video now today you guys i'm going to be taking you with me to show you what i do on my job as a patient care observer slash transport slash cna so today you guys um i had already got a call so i have um so what i do first is call my supervisor and ask her where I'm supposed to be for the day because it could be sometimes I could be sitting or doing patient transport or helping out on the floor today I'm going to be doing patient transporting so right when I walked into my office I got two appointments immediately one at 7 30 and one at 8 it is now 7 17 I'm going to stop at the store right quick and then go get my patient and take him to his appointment. They got some shoes here, some clothes. Let me see what I'm going to get. Get some gum. Um, I need something to drink. I'm gonna get me some water. Uh, wait, this ain't sprint. Yeah, I'm gonna get this. This is all I'm gonna get for right now. So I gotta enter in the coffee. Okay. Oh, no! So the first thing I want to do is clean up. So wipe everything down. Hold on, I'm trying to record and do this at the same time. Uh, wipe down that mouse. Wipe down this table. Put everything back where it goes. It's a mess in here. Got my water, my keyboard, and then I already got the phone, but you gotta make sure when you come in, you turn the phone on right away and make sure the volume is all the way up. Okay, clean everything off, cause look, you see how dirty this is? And wipe off the chair. Okay, everything is clean. If you want the air on, you can turn on the air. Um, that's just our supply cabinet. You want to hang up your jacket, you can hang it up. And there's another phone just in case they can't reach me right here. So now, oh, it's 726. I have to go pick up my patient that is on this floor right now. So, see you guys in a bit. Time is now 741. I have to go pick up my next patient at 8 o'clock. So, I, I see you guys in a little bit. You guys, I had got a phone call right away. So, um, I couldn't log in. So, when you get in, you also want to check your email. So, log in, put your card in, your badge, what I'm about to do now. So, put in my badge. Okay, so I'm going to go into Outlook. Did I pass it? So you guys, what I'm doing right now is just reading my emails and also deleting all the non-factor emails that I don't need, you guys. What are nasty as fuck, boy? 
yeah so you guys like i said when you come in you want to turn on the phone make sure the phone is on turn up the volume um check your emails make sure you have a pen and paper so you can write down um, um the patient room number and where you will be taking the patient to sorry i'm still deleting some emails Not only do you have to check your emails, you also got to be deleting a lot of emails because it can build up as a lot of stuff that you don't need. So that's what I'm doing now. Can I have another call? So hold on, guys. Transport, Tariq is speaking. So another thing guys if you want to go above and beyond your job description what you can do you can help out on the floor let's say um there's only two health techs working the floor you can help out that's what i usually do sometimes because i kind of know the floor i know the people i've been here 10 years so i um help out but if there's three people they pretty much got it or you still can help out if you ain't got nothing else to do if you don't want to be bothered or you feel like being lazy you can go in that room close that door and man your business and do your work okay you also <laughs> let's say there's three people working the floor you don't want to help out or whatever you can say in here um work on your tms that's training that you have to stay current up on you gotta stay um you gotta stay up on that training so you go to your tms let me show you one sec go to, go to google chrome it's gonna load up then you just go to I really don't have anything overdue. I'm pretty much current, but I always want to stay ahead so you never get behind. Every hour, like to now, after this, I'm going on my 15 minute break. Okay, you guys, I forgot to tell you about when you're taking a patient to an appointment. If it's x ray, you will, you're probably going to sit there, well, you will sit there with the patient because x ray usually only take less than 10 minutes or IR take less than 10 minutes, you can work with the patient. Make sure you um, give the receptionist their sheets and so they can know what's going on, give them the sheet. And with other floors, let's say the eye clinic, um, IR, dialysis, um, you can just take the patient there and, and drop them off, make sure they get to where they need to be, check them in. And, you can go and then they'll call you whenever they'll call the floor whenever um the patient is ready to go so yes oh yeah and then also dialysis that's located in a whole nother hospital because the va that i work at and the uw is connected together so that's kind of a that's a walk baby okay so yes you can um so when I'm usually transporting to dialysis, I usually go to dialysis whenever I have a patient um, that needs to go to the UW. But sometimes, especially I go there for the IR to the IR and different other places. Yeah, but yeah, I'm usually not. 
I transport every once in a blue moon. I'm usually a PCO, patient care observer. So um, if you are a full-time transporter, you also will be doing drawing blood, being a phlebotomist. So that's part of your job too. I don't have to do it, thank God, because I hate needles, hate drawing blood. They do train you on the job. You do get that on the job training. Even me, if I wanted to do it, I can do it. I can just ask my manager and, and she'll sign me up. I think the training is only like a day or so. Don't quote me on that, but yeah, it's just a day for training for phlebotomy. Take a class and that's it. So yeah, I'm just winning for my patient. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Hey guys, I want to my 15 minute break. What you want to do is to turn off your phone. Because you will get calls. As soon as you go on break, that's when you're going to get the most calls. Trust me. So make sure you turn off your phone. Oh, I might have this for lunch. Here is the menu. I think I'm going to get some pancakes. Healthy bar, popcorn swirl, brownies, um, got some drinks over here. Let's see. Oh, um, got a chicken salad cup. I can't eat that. I'm gonna get some drink though, maybe some. Get my water. Here's the pancakes. Those are out of syrup, so I have to get the sugar free. Hopefully, it don't taste too bad. Okay, guys, I'm going to some snacks, some chips, water, and my favorite. So just in case I get a little hungry, have a test I need to do. I had a lot of tests I had to take and now I'm pretty tired. I am on my way to Starbucks at my job. Yes, we got a Starbucks here. I lost track of time. It is already 1.25. So I got to hurry up and go back upstairs and give me something to eat. So here is the new drinks. I don't know which one I'm about to get. I may, might get a Frappuccino, made in dragon food or something. Here's my mango dragon fruit. I always get it with the no ice because you get more ice be watering your stuff down. You get less. So, yes. Grilled cheese on Texas bread. Woo, today drain me. <laughs> Not just my, I know that's saying on TikTok. They be having me rolling. But it's the end of my shift. So, what I do now is take this phone and turn it off and then charge it up that way people won't be calling and it won't be ringing and there we go
all, let me see what I'm going to give for the kids. I send a puzzle. Okay. So I'm going to get this right here. We can play this as a family. This look like fun to play with the kids. Get this one or this one. I think I'll probably go for this one. And this one. Another learning game. Okay, you guys. Today was in okay day this day pretty study so let me show you guys what i got now that i'm finally up about to go home and see my babies oh i forgot the camera's right there keep looking at myself that be but yes i think i already showed y'all i need to show y'all the hot shoes so decided with that game some learning activities some chips this and then ugh. okay I got these hot shoes these are too big for me they was out let me roll on my window okay so they was out um of my size these 11 12 way too big for me I wear at least a size 10 or a 9 10 I gave the other ones to my daughter and I was like I'll buy me some later because she needed some hot shoes so do I and then uh, oh my gosh everything is I'm trying to do this with one hand these are my boyfriend hot shoes these are the only kind they had and they had these in another color I think it was beige, tan or whatever you want to call it and that's it and my daughter loves these pickles I don't know why but I just got to get my um son my yeah, I gotta get my son some hot shoes. My youngest son has some. And my daughter, she don't need none. My youngest one. She only nine months, so yes. It was a smooth day today, y'all. So yes, if you guys have any questions to ask me, just leave it down in the comment section. Oh, my eyebrows need to be done. Just leave it in the comment section. Um, what else? Yeah. Any questions about um, being a PCO, a patient care observer, um, slash, I guess sometimes people call it sitter or a transporter. It's, that's what I was doing today. Or any questions about being a CNA in general, just leave that down in the comment section. And... I'll make a video answering your questions. Ooh. With that being said, peace. Hope you guys enjoy your day. Stay blessed. Never stress.